the overall winner of this year's competition is is Olivia Campbell from Presbyterian Ladies College, Melbourne, for that wonderful story, 5,000 Hours. It would take 5,000 hours to say the names of 85 people murdered in World War II, 208 days without rest, three seconds for each of the six million. These people will always be gone. And my softer still dreams, after 75 years, that she is a little girl in her night's dress running from Nazis. Not discussing the Charlottesville massacre of the Yom Kippur shooting doesn't make these tragedies any less real. And my culture is not alone. I imagine my closest friends Nani and my neighbors Jita doing what my softer has done with me, describing the Christchurch mosque shootings in the 2009 student sex, explaining why the head of the Gandhi statue in the park was smashed in, or telling the story of the 14-year-old Palestinian girl who was shot in the eye and will never see her holy land returned to her. I wonder how long it will be until they each have the weight of 5,000 hours of stolen lives on their shoulders. I picture each of us explaining to our own grandchildren our people's history, YouTube clips and Facebook posts, alongside crumbling photographs. And I see those 5,000 hours growing further and further, infinitely, until they span lifetimes. Nobody deserves to be persecuted because of their faith, their kippah or sari or niqab. This mantra matters. So please, recite it until you cannot forget, until the whole world echoes with it, until nobody can. And remember that for each moment of silence, our clocks are ticking. <laughs>